Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you Little Andean and Big Andean in that we are dealing with to understand how CPU stores data into memory. First of all, you should know when you talk about any memory in that at one address, you can store one byte of data. But when you have data which is having size more than one byte, then how CPU stores data onto memory, what will be the order of that data that you need to understand with little endian and big endian. There are few advantages of little endian, there are few disadvantages with little endian as well as with big endian, few advantages and disadvantages are there. I'll discuss each and everything in complete detail in this video. You should know my dear students, most of the microprocessors of Intel follows little endian but you will be observing with TCP IP as well as with few microprocessor with Motorola follows big endian. Let us try to understand first what is little endian and what is big endian. I will explain you each and everything with examples. So my dear students, when we talk about ordering of data when you store that into memory then there are two techniques big endian and little endian here when we talk about big endian in that most significant byte that will get stored first in the memory so for example if you have multi byte data then most significant byte that will get stored first in the memory and at last you will be storing last significant byte in the memory right and with little endian you will be storing last significant byte first in the memory so as if you have multi byte data then last significant byte that you will be storing first in the memory with little endian and most significant byte that we will be storing at last in the memory here let us try to understand that by one example. So here I am having one data that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hex and we are storing that data with starting address 1000 hex. Here you should know my dear students first of all how many bytes are there with this data. You see 1, 2 holds 1 byte, 3, 4 holds 2nd byte, 5, 6 holds 3rd byte and 7 8 holds 4th byte. So this data is having size of 4 bytes. Now here I am having memory in that as per big endian we are dealing with to store the data. So as I have said see most significant byte that should get stored first. Right. So with this data what is most significant byte? 1 2. So 1 2 that should get stored at starting address that is 1000 hex. So you see 1 2 is stored over here and gradually address is increasing and at last we are storing least significant byte that is 7 8 hex right. So that is stored over here at 1003 hex. Here as if we talk about little Indian so in that here we are dealing with to store last significant byte first in the memory. So at address 1000 hex, last significant byte is 7, 8 hex that we need to store over here and as address is increasing at last address we will be storing most significant byte that is 1, 2 hex that we have stored over here, right. So I think now it is clear to you how CPU will store data with big endian and little endian. But I have seen students are having query when they access stack memory. In stack memory, what is the basic understanding which you might have seen in Intel processor? That is there based on last in, first, out, right. So in that situation, students are getting confused like how to remember big endian and little endian. So if you observe here big endian, then you see at lower address you are having higher byte of data and at higher address you are having lower byte of data. So in big Indian lower address holds 
higher byte of data and higher address holds lower byte of data and if you observe little and n in that you see with lower byte you are having lower address right and with higher byte you are having higher address so with little and n lower address holds lower byte of data and higher address holds higher byte of data right that is how we store that with different techniques here you should know my dear students big and n that is there with motorola with ibm mainframe it is also there with tcp ip protocol and you will be observing little and n is there with many processor of intel as well as it is there with amd and pic here there are few advantages and disadvantages that you need to understand so for that let me explain you what are the advantages which is there with big and n technique so here my dear students you can say it is easier to determine the sign with big and n why it is easier to determine the sign you see with big and n that higher byte that we are storing first over here so sign is there with higher byte only remember this so as sign is there with higher byte directly with first byte only we can determine the sign so it will be easier for us to determine the sign using big indian as we store higher byte first here second advantage is it is easier to compare two numbers why it is easier to compare two number the reason is you see first what we are storing here first we are storing higher byte right from lower byte you cannot say data is greater or smaller but from higher byte directly you can say right for example if lower byte is 7 8 and 7 5 then you cannot say which number is greater why the reason is higher byte will define whether number is greater or smaller so if higher byte is 1 2 and 1 0 then directly you can say that higher byte of 1 2 that is greater than that higher byte of 1 0 right so it is easier to compare two numbers using big and n here it is easier to divide two numbers my dear students why it is easier to divide two numbers the reason is as if you do division then you will be starting division with respect to higher byte only right and here we are storing higher byte first so division of two numbers is easy with big and n it is easier to print as well why it is easier to print the reason is my dear students here we are printing data serially so here first data that will be this first data with respect to address so as if data is coming in this order right first data then second data as per the ordering then printing will be easier printing is not that good in terms of execution as if you start from last the reason is in printing you want to print first data first then last data at last here when we talk about advantages of little andian then you will be observing it is easier for multiplication right so compared to big indian here multiplication is easy with little andian why the reason is here we are storing lower data first so when you multiply data at that time you will be starting multiplication from lower byte right so it is easier for multiplication with little andian and addition of multi precision numbers that is also easy in little andian if you have multi precision number then obviously addition that you will be starting from lower byte so that is easy with little andian so based on their advantages and disadvantages this techniques were used by different companies in their cpu so you'll be observing with intel amd and pic they are using little andian only but big andian that is used by motorola ibm mainframe as well as tcp ip so i think now it is clear to you how little andian and big andian is there still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video